Aries, hello, how are you, beautiful? My name is Alicia, welcome, nice to meet you. This is Empath Tarot, where spirits' messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now, this is going to be a general reading, so if it does resonate, like, share, and subscribe so we can get spirits' message out there to fellow empaths. If you are interested in scheduling a personal reading with Spirit and I, all of the details are going to be down in the description box below. And for even more empath energy, check out my husband. You will love him. He gives such practical, easy to understand messages and guidance from spirit, particularly in the niche of business. His information is going to be down below. But without further ado, let's dive right in and see what messages spirit has for you. Aries, four of pentacles coming out first. So you are building the finances that it is that you're longing to build. You're on your way there. As long as you stay focused on your goals, you are going to get there. And I know that sounds cliche. It's like, hmm, well, how do you do that, right? How you do that is by making sure that you're always reaching for the good, not the bad. I'll tell you something. There's a, there's a, there's a negative thought, right? There's a bad thought in every scenario, but there's also a good thought. There's also love in every scenario. And as long as we can continuously reach for that, then you're always going to be evolving. It's the minute that we focus our vibration or our point of attraction or our focus, what we're thinking about on what is going wrong or the negative or the bad of the situation, that's when we start to go the other way. It completely is self-sabotage because again, we're, we're commanding this movie, right? We're the stars of our own movie. So it's up to us. It's, it's up to us to not look at our life around us and, and grab onto the negative. It's up to us, right? No one is doing it for us and we can't blame anybody. We can't blame the world or this happen because that it just doesn't work like that it's always what we choose to focus on that is how we evolve and the universe is saying that you are on your way there i mean you have love waiting for you with the soulmate card you know that Aries? you have a beautiful romance waiting for you but in order to get there there has to be some level of introspection so that you can evolve in your own personal journey if we do not know who we are how do we expect to know who our partner is when we meet them? If you think about it, right? If we don't take the time to sit and be like, I want this in a partner. I'll give you an example. When Before I met 7D, I was like, I want someone confident. I want a leader. I want someone that's going to make me feel safe. I want someone that I can, uh, that is a gentleman that I can take out, you know? Uh, I, I, these are the things that I wanted. I always had a list. Any partner that I thought that I wanted, I wrote, I said a list out loud. I'm like, hmm, maybe I would like to try dating this type of person. And they always came into my life. You know why they came into my life was because after I set the intention, I let it go. I let it go. I was like, oh, this would be fun. And then I had a business at the time from a very young age. I always had a business and I focused on my business because it gave me purpose. So you set off the list that you want. Again, you're only going to know what this list is if you actually take the time to focus on it. What qualities would you like in your life mate, right? Right? in your partner what would you like them to have so that you feel happy right you feel content this is your life this is your movie now is not the time to be humble now is the time to really put that list out there and you will uh, you will get it now remember be careful what you wish for because sometimes we think things and then that partner comes into our life and we realize that's not it at all but as a matter of fact that's actually a good thing because if it wasn't for the contrast in our life we would never know what we actually wanted and that's what happened with a lot of me and my partners in my past I had to go through that list to decide that is no nope, just kidding I'll send them back you know and then we pick up a bunch of lessons from those partners and then we decide and we figure out what we truly want what qualities we really want and the universe is saying love is here for you Aries but you really got to get determined and, and, and figure out who you want and make this fun make this a fun game oh I would like this I would like that quality add that to the list that looks good that sounds great and then go focus on what it is that, that you're creating your business your work a, a project yourself whatever it may be but take your focus off of that loved one and just have faith that the universe will bring him or her into your life because that's how it works that's how it works. There we are, that two of cups there. So, I mean, you got three love cards. One's a soulmate card on the table here for you, Aries. So it's like they're waiting here for you. It's like they're waiting for you. But I'll tell you something again, until you know the universe cannot align you with your match. And it, 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 the only reason why it's wobbly is because you feel wobbly about it. Is this going to happen? Is this not going to happen? Where's my love? Is it here? Is it not here? I like who I am. I don't like who I am. I like when I do this. I don't like when I do this. I'm going to stick to my diet. No, nope, here I'm eating donuts. It's all over the place. Figure out who you are 
and your perf- your soulmate will walk into your life. That's it, right? Who are you? What resonates with you in terms of what makes you feel the best? When you think of something, when you think of an, an identity, let's just say, a brand, like what's your brand? How would you want to be remembered by? You know what I mean? Build an energy around that. How does that feel for you? For me, I want to be remembered as a writer, as an author. I would love to be a New York best-selling times author. That ding, 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 everything in me, my essence is like, yep, that resonates. So. You, path has been laid out for me. I better start writing some books here, right? So that's what it is for me. What is it for you, Aries? What resonates with you? What would you like to be remembered by? What feels good to you? When you get that set by taking time to do so, by talking to yourself, by journaling, talking to your guides and angels, then you will be able to close a chapter for a new one to open, bringing you to a new point in your life, allowing you to move forward with immense amounts of clarity and spiritual awakening, evolving you to the next phase of this video game but until that time comes where you take that introspection and you figure out what it is you truly want most the evolution just will not be there right if we continuously do the same things in life we're going to get the same results and i'm pretty sure that's the definition of insanity you know what i mean so be very mindful about how you spend your days if i want to be a writer i'm going to wake up and i'm going to make sure that i schedule time in the day so that i can write i'm going to make sure that i feel peaceful i'm going to make sure that i have a good diet so that i feel relaxed and i'm not full of energy or full of sugar or crazy, you know what I mean? Caffeine. I'm going to make sure that I, I, I take, I, I prioritize what's important. So same for you. Where do you see yourself and get clear about it? Who do you want to be and get clear about it and then match up and align all the actions you take in a day to align with that. If you wanted to go be a UFC fighter, you're not going to be sitting on the couch eating Cheetos. You're going to be up early going for a run. Then you're going to be hitting the gym. Then you're going to be fueling your body with good foods. Then you're going to be taking a nap. Then you're going to be going back to the gym. You know what I I mean you're going to be meditating training your mind you know what I mean there's there's habits and behaviors that are put in place for every every energy that we want to be that we're destined to be and your destiny your purpose is based upon that good feeling thought that you feel what feels the best your joys your gifts are all aligned with your purpose so what is it that brings you that joy what is it that brings you that good feeling and again this is something that you're going to have to really sit with yourself on it's not just going to come you're not just going to be like hmm what do I really like to do well, I really like to, uh, you know, play soccer. Okay. Well, I really like to groom dogs, but you know, I'm not going to be a dog groomer for my whole life. You know what I'm saying? So we got to make sure that it makes sense. So that's why it takes time. Dive deep into it. You know what I mean? Take it once again, everything in life is a process. And what I mean by that is once you set the desire of intention. Okay. So once you set the intention, well, okay. Universe guides and angels. Um, I would like to know what my purpose is. Okay, well, you've launched that rocket of intention and then you simply allow the answers to flow in. I know interesting concept of allowance, right? We're not trying to seek it out because I know for myself, I am impatient half the time. I want to know right now, what am I going to do right now? But the thing is, is that when we have this level of impatience, we... We, ch- we chop off our heart chopper completely because it shows the universe I'm not happy with where I am. I want that to be happy. And that lets the universe know, oh, she's not happy. Let's give her more unhappy things. And then all of a sudden our vibration starts to lower and we only start to see the negatives in our life and we're thinking, what happened? I was good, now what's wrong? So always set the intention. Guides and angels, universe, thank you so much for everything that you do. Thank you for taking care of me and supporting me. I would love to know what direction I should take in my life. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So much love. In the meantime, I will be live my most joyous life. So what makes me feel joyful? Maybe I'll read a book today. Maybe I will put a smile on my coworker's face. Maybe I will bring an extra yummy lunch. Maybe I will uh, go for a walk for my lunch break instead of gossiping. You know what I mean? Really dive into this here. And then again, switch those thoughts over because that will really start to just allow your heart to open and it will allow the universe to be able to speak to you. And this is something that again, your intuition will absolutely kick in here. Okay. So your intuition is speaking to you and be mindful that you're listening, right? And we, cl- and we close off our intuition because our heart chakra, our intuition, but it's pretty much the same thing. We close it off when we're impatient. We close it off when we're angry. We close it off when we are rude. We close it off when we are at any means, um, any means negative in any way. It's so far from our natural essence that it's like literally like closing the door to opportunity. Anytime we talk smack about somebody, we talk smack about ourselves. We judge somebody else. We judge ourselves. It literally just closes off the doors of opportunity and excitement. And most certainly that soulmate. So just know, keep that beautiful 
keep that beautiful energy of yours high by sharing love, coming from a place of having fun, joy. This place is this this place is magical, but you only get to experience the magic if you're coming from a joyful demeanor and having fun along the way. So enjoy yourself, Aries. At the end of the day, everything is right here for you. Your soulmate is literally the connection you want. If you're already in a relationship, the love is here to grow for you. But remember, it comes from knowing who you are deep down, really knowing who you are, and then aligning that intention with the actions that you take. All right, Aries, I hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like, share, and subscribe. I truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you, Aries. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby.